I was asked to serve by President Obama, and I said, yes. Pretty hard saying no to him, isn't it? It's is very hard saying no, <laughs> but this wasn't a hard one. Uh, you know, and I asked for advice uh, before I came over with President Obama, because I am, you know, as we talked about, not from where I'm from, the internet business world, not from diplomacy my whole career. So I said, what advice would you give to a first-time ambassador? And he said, stop for a second, he said, listen. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm talking a lot now, because here we are on radio, mm -hmm. important part of radio, but really what I've tried to do in these first six months, it'll be six months next week that I've been here, is to try to get out and to listen. So what do people tell you? Lots of things. I mean, there's not a subject I probably haven't been asked about. But do they come to you with their problems and, like, uh, can you fix this? Or we, we get everything from sort of, you know, fix the planet to, you know, fix my travel plans to the United States and everything in between. Yes. Since you've been traveling through Sweden so much, uh, have you had the opportunity to try Swedish food? Yes. Which is your favorite so far? Well, You know, and, and some friends back home, and I won't name who they are, joked about herring. Yeah. Uh, and at one of our goodbye parties, they served all sorts of herring. And that was supposed to... Turns out I love herring. Oh, you yeah. do? Yeah. Pickled, Pickled herring, mm -hmm. mustard, yeah. sour cream, all of them. Have you tried uh, sour herring? Sour cream. Yeah. <laughs> but I... <w> have <laughs> you felt the I have to. I have to do it. You both. No. Yes, you do. No. Yes, well, you see, do. I grew up hearing... Uh, horror stories, quite honestly, about sore stomach, because my mother spent a summer abroad up in Sundsvall 50 years ago, Yeah. and she came back, and um, she had many wonderful stories in Sweden, but that one stuck out, Yeah. Uh, and has, uh, has never left, so I need to, you know, erase those demons and just eat some. <laughs> What did you say about this? Well, I think she mixed up a bunch of, or I, in my child brain, I remembered it as Um, it had been there for years, but then I think I mixed it up with gravlax, so I thought it had been buried a hundred feet in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so I have spun this up into even more of a disgusting concoction than I think it might be, but my close new Swedish friends insist it's good. But wouldn't that really... And I'm, I'm going to try it. Wouldn't that really...